Welcome to our viewers in Trinidad and Tobago and those of you watching us from around the world, we're happy to have your company. This is The Morning Brew. My name is Ryan Beach. I'm sitting in for Hema Ramki soon this morning. Please take us with you wherever you're heading to this morning. If you're an essential worker heading out, you can view us at cnc3live.com. Now time for our daily segment of COVID-19 heroes. Everywhere you look in this country, there is somebody doing something to make the plight of this COVID-19 pandemic a little bit less on somebody else, be it essential workers, be it frontline staff, whoever they are. They are even artists. And the one that you're about to meet right now, the 2020 Chutney Soka Monarch in Imran G.I. Bihari. He will be having what he terms a chutney champion hamper distribution. I like the name. Let's welcome him to the show now. G.I., good morning to you. Thank you very much for being here. Hi, morning, morning. It's, it's, good. it's good to be here. I mean, I haven't got not this early in a while, but... <laughs> <laughs> But we it's appreciate you. Season, they get up early. We appreciate you getting up this early to share what is really is a positive message during what is gloomy times that we're living in. You're calling it the Chutney Champion Hab Hamper Distribution. Tell me a little, a little bit about it. Um, well, to be honest with, with you, um, you know, I saw it upon myself uh, to get out my team for us to be doing this to give back to the people of Trinidad and Tobago in somewhat, in whatever little way within our means that we could help. Uh, because to be quite honest with you, there's a lot of people out there who's on the breadline, who is suffering, uh, sorry to use that word suffering, but it's reality. Um, there's a lot of poverty in Trinidad and Tobago and we need to do our part because these are the people that give their support and heart and soul towards us where, where our music is concerned. And um, you know, it, it feels great when you give back, like honestly. I mean, I, I have been on the road, um, uh, uh, that was on Sunday, and to be honest with you, it's really sad out there to see what, you know, what we are seeing, because I didn't even know places like this exist off main roads. Um, like we went into like real back roads and, and went into like not even uh, like a pit road, it's, it's like dirt road and finding people and and i was like whoa no electricity no water people have to to basically walk like a half a mile to to, to get water is it's crazy out there um and i saw it upon you know i saw it fit upon myself to to, to really uh to do something like this and to, to see as as much as i can help because i mean in all honesty it's, it's only so much that could be done by the government and it's only so much that could be done by by the MPs and the councillors. So I think if everybody puts a helping hand, we all can, you know, conquer this together. And of course, you know, work hand in hand with, with the necessary authorities and, um, you know, see how best we could help. And I'm sure it will go a long way for the people that really need it. Certainly. Uh, was this a one-time distribution or do you plan on doing it again? No, no, we out on the weekends, uh, uh, as much as we could do, we're gonna do within my means i mean there's only so much that I, I myself can do but um whatever support it is out there people willing to give to us to go out and do as much as we can we are more than willing to to, to welcome that but you know what even but with, with no support right now i am doing it on my own um to get out my team and you know um we're gonna go out on the weekend again you know, we're preparing to do more hampers on the weekend. Again, I think um, on Thursday, we're going to be purchasing more more stuff um, uh, between Friday and Saturday. We're going to be boxing them and packaging them, and we're going to go out on Sunday again and see as much people as we can help. You know, you talk about what you've witnessed and the shock of witnessing what you've witnessed in distributing these hampers. You know, what has been the feedback you've gotten from on the ground going into all of these rural communities? Well, first of all, when you go into to, to, to areas like this, you, you do not know if the people even know who you are. <laughs> if they even know what is a chutney so come on out. And these people, they are aware of everything. Uh, they live a normal life. I mean, we, I mean, it, it's it's really sad to see the, the conditions they live in. Um, like any government official or anyone who is locked on and is willing to go to help these people. Because I myself, personally, I am going to help these people no matter what. I am going to, to do it on my own. I'm going to try my very best to help them get electricity and water. I'm not no politician. I, 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 I am not aspiring to be one. But um, as a public figure, I'm trying to do my part to help in whatever way I can. Yeah, I, um, I want to ask you about that because, you know, they say that 
with these monarchs, whatever you win, however far you, you go into our society, upwards in our society, the further you go up, the more social responsibility you have. And you, you certainly, this is a, a responsibility of yours as the 2020 Chutney Soka monarch uh, to do something like this. Yes, it is. Um, and it, it, it not only goes to me, but we all here in Trinidad and Tobago as public figures, we, we, we have that corporate social responsibility. And this is where, you know, I am trying to do my part um, you know, there, there's a lot more people that's doing things as well, but, you know, um, being a public figure, it's, it's very difficult in the sense that, you know, if you, if you do things and you don't post it on social media, everyone is going to say that you, we, us artists, is not doing anything or, you know, they're going to bash us, in other words. And when we do post stuff that we are doing, doing things to help, we still get bashed. They never could satisfy the people of Trinidad and Tobago, and it's really sad you know, because they don't know how hard it is for us as artists and, and to step in our shoes, but they would sit on Facebook and they'll bash us whether we do, whether we don't. There, there are many times that I did charity and didn't post anything. I always do charity. I, I came from a really humble beginning, so I understand what it is to be poor. Um, not to say that, I'm, that I am some rich millionaire or something, but whatever little I have, I try my very best to give back to people and I don't post this stuff, but after seeing what people was writing on Facebook, where GI, where this one, where that one, where the next one, when um, when they have events, these people supporting them. And you know what? We were doing stuff even before I started posted, posting, sorry. And um, I decided, I told my management, I said, you know what? We need to get this out because I really can't take this anymore. People, people bashing us for no reason. And not me in particular, but just generally. Um, At least on the whole. Yeah, and, and it's, it's really sad to know that, the, the, you know, whether uh, I say it plain, damn if you do, damn if you don't. And, and that's really uh, distasteful of some people out there, not all. There's a minority of people, though, that sit home on, on their computers or their phone and bash us artists for no apparent reason, thinking that we don't do anything. Mm. If we do and we post, it's a problem. If we don't, and, and, and if we do not post and we still do, it's still a problem. So, you know what? I'm going to put, put it out there uh, of the work that I am doing. I'm not posting people's face. Um, you know, I'm posting my face and the, the, the faces of my team who is helping, but I'm not posting the faces of people, and I'm going to put it out there on social media um, that we are helping, and the places and the areas that we are going into, people will be able to see. So maybe by we sharing this light, shedding this light, sorry, someone will come and, and help people help the people, may, may, may it be a politician or may it be a businessman or somebody out there, they're going to come to these areas now, areas that do not have water, do not have electricity, you know, all these the, these basic necessities, they do not have anything. And, yeah. you know, maybe they might come now and say, you know what, let's team a GI and let's help the people. Yeah, it, it, could in, it, it's, it could be a domino effect, you know. It, it could inspire someone else to start giving in their community and then somebody else and suddenly we have a chain. But certainly... You know, GI you know before you move on, uh, there's one thing in particular I want to mention. Sure. One home in particular I went on Sunday night because we were sharing and um, distributing hampers up until Sunday night, maybe like till 8 in the night, right? And one particular home, and if, it, if there's anyone out there, I am actually going uh, during the day today to get the information. But if, and if there's anyone out there that's willing to help, please, um, I will send my, my, my management contact information to Nikisha. She has it as well. Um, anyone willing to help this child, um, you know, feel free to, to contact us. And we can take you there. I do not want your money. Do not call me and give me your money. I do not want that check from you. I want to take you there, and I, in whatever way you can help this little girl, um, we will welcome it. Um, there's one particular girl, she passed for convent. Uh, she's actually in Form 4. I mean, there's no school now, but going there to that home, seeing that this child has no, no electricity, no water, and, you know, she passed for convent, that alone shows that she has the the ability to get a proper education in Trinidad and Tobago. And she can't afford to go to school. Her, her, mom, her mom had to take her out of school and, you know, no electricity, no water. If you see where this child is living, but I know she has what it takes to get a proper education. And I, I really want to help her and I'm going to help her from, from myself and my entire team. If there's anyone out there that wants to help, please, I will, I will, Nikki, I will ask Nikisha to, 
Just put out our contact, contact information and I'll take you all directly to them. I do not want you all to give me any money or give me anything. I'll take you, whoever it is, I will I'll ask the people if it's okay, people people willing to help. And I'll take you, I'll direct you all, I'll take you all personally to the people and you all can see how you can help as well. If we, if we all help with one item or in one way, you know, we can help this child get a proper education. I, I, she, she has what it takes to get her education and make herself somebody and get her family out of poverty. All right. Uh, we'll look forward to getting that number. Our producer will take it, and we will definitely pass it on to the public uh, tomorrow yes. morning. I, I just want to ask you, GI, though, that th this could not be an easy year for you as well, because normally at this point in time, you would have already performed in so many concerts. Uh, your career would have been on pause for quite, uh, for quite some time as well. So this particular year is also straining you as a person. Yes, it is. Um from, from every aspect, every possible aspect, financially, mainly financially. But uh, to be honest, uh, we, I have had maybe about 30 to 40 canceled foreign shows, uh, which is a lot. <laughs> um, in this short period of time, you know, 30, 40 shows is a lot, a lot of shows. Um, and, and being the Chutney Soka Monarch, I have no way of representing Trinidad and Tobago. Um, and I have no source of income, but still that doesn't stop me from doing my part um, in helping people because um, when one thing I told, I, one thing I was saying last night, you know, having a conversation that I would never say in my, for the rest of my life that, that, you know, in layman terms, I seen pressure. I'll never say that. Because when you think you seen pressure, trust me, it have people out there seen 10 times worse than us. So that is something I will never say when somebody call me, whether it's a joke or not. Boy, I seen pressure. I'm not going to do that. Because after what I saw on Sunday, it's really, 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 I don't know how to explain it. It's heartbreaking. I, I mean, I, I, I've teared up at every house that I went to on Sunday. Every single home that I went to, tears came to my eye. And, and, and it, no matter, I am facing losses right now. I am not the only one. There's artists all over the world facing losses. There's business people facing losses. That all of us are facing losses right now. But some are in a better position, and some, I mean, there's only upon there's only so much I can do within my means, and and I I also have to make sure that you know I take care of myself and my family as well. So you know. But I'm going to keep trying to help as much as I can. I you're, can. The, you're the 2020 Chutney Soka Monarch, G.I. What is your message this morning to Trimbegonians? Um, you know what? I will sum it down very simple. Together we aspire, together we achieve, and we shall overcome. Thank you very much, Imran G.I. Bihari, our 2020 Chutney Soka Monarch. Uh, thank you very much for the work that you've been doing, and thank you very much for being on The Morning Brew this morning. Thank you very much for having me, and I look forward to, I mean, getting up early probably next week again after we finish our weekend drive and discuss some more and see um, how many more people we can touch and spread the message out there. And as, uh, you know, try, try to get as, get as much help as possible for everyone, man. So take care, guys. Have a great day. Let's be positive. Um, let's have a great week ahead, and let's make the best of what we can right now. Love you all. Thank you very much. Imran G.I. Bihari, 2020 Chutney Soka Monarch, talking, uh, talking to us this morning after he distributed several hampers around rural communities across Trinidad and Tobago. And he's not the only artist. Artists of every genre of music here in Trinidad and Tobago have been getting on board with the stay at home, stay safe message. We've got Raymond, Ram, Raymond Ramnarine, who's also a Chutney uh, Soka singer as well, getting on board with the message and also walking the talk in many ways. Here he is distributing hampers across Trinidad and Tobago to those who are in need, those who really need it the most across our society. And that's a very, very important point that uh, Imran G. I. Bihari talked about a little bit, a few minutes ago. Sometimes we're always in between about posting it on social media or not posting it on social media. But it is my firm belief that when we post things like it, and it doesn't need to be in a bashful, boastful way, when we post these things on social media, it can certainly act as an inspiring tool to inspire other people to get up and do something as well. And we do hope that these interviews, that these COVID-19 hero segments inspire you to also get up with whatever little you have and do something to help our fellow men and women as well. We take a quick break here on The Morning Brew. We'll be right back. <laughs> 